guys, this is Pa here, and welcome to a new series. I'd say a series. I want this to turn into a series, and we, of course, are playing Seven Days to Die, of course. So we're going to be playing this for the first time properly. I've had a little play around in it previously, but this is the first time I was playing it on the video. And, uh, yeah, so uh, before we jump into that, obviously, if you'd like to see more from this, if you enjoy this uh, video then make sure to um, hit that like button and subscribe just to show you support and drop me in the comments below to let me know if you want to see more of this but uh, overall it is pretty awesome so let's uh, start a new game so we get to pick our character from these kind of default ones here look they look a bit strange to be honest <laughs> and um, so yeah I'm thinking I mean they all got all the different ones here but I'm thinking we've got the last one here called Clint just because it, you know it just reminds me it's clearly meant to be like Clint Eastwood so uh, <laughs> from his western days <laughs> western film so uh, yeah let's go with Clint then <laughs> and um, right so you, you basically kind of set up your game you can choose all kind of modifiers and things like that which is really cool uh, and it doesn't affect um, you kind of getting trophies and things like that there is a thing where you can actually select you know creative and that does disable your trophies um, where you've got access to like every you know every kind of item resource in the game a little like kind of minecraft um, creative mode and this game is very much like um, is is very much like a sort of minecraft in in some ways um, as well as a load of other things. So uh, let's just choose our game type. There's a local game, uh, survival alone or with a friend. Okay, so host an invite online only game. Um, power games of access to single player customization. Okay, I guess if we just kind of go for local, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, right, so we we'll choose our game world. So we can choose. Oh yeah, I've. I've, I've I've been reading up a little bit on this, and so you've got the kind of standard world here, where it's got obviously, uh, you know, it's all the same. Anyone who goes on this is always going to be the same, so there's certain landmarks and things like that. But I'm thinking we go for a random gen. I think that's going to be good because, you know, it's going to be a complete surprise, and we're going to, it's going to be, you know, unique basically to uh, uh, to ourselves. So let's go with random gen. So have a look at the local game options. So you've got your kind of standard options. So difficulty settings. Um, I think if we. Scavenger, adventurer, nomad, warrior. There's quite a lot here, and insane as well. Maybe adventurer, nomad. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at the thing. So adventure, not just for, not just a new recruit anymore. <laughs> I think we're gonna go for adventure. Let's just leave it as that. Zombies run. Okay, so running walking conditions. Default is walk day and run at night. I think that's it's gonna be good because then it means that night time is gonna be even more dangerous. The aggression, um, I think we'll leave it as normal. Daylight strength, uh, daylight length, sorry. How many hours till the sun shines per day? Um, okay, so I wonder how long that is in kind of like real life. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think it was 16 as the default. Let's, let's just go with that. So we're basically just pretty much keeping it like that. So I'll, have, I'll look at the modded options then. So we've got drop on death, just the tool belt. Okay, uh, tour only, backpack only. I think we'll go, again, we'll just go with the kind of everything. You know, makes it a bit more challenging. Enemy memory. Um, mm, okay. That could be cool, actually. So, yeah, I think a lot of this, we're just going to kind of keep a standard, but if something's uh, worth changing up. Um, enemy spawning medium. Again, we'll keep it as medium. Block durability. So modifies the hardness of every block in the world. If you increase hardness, then you end up with less damage. Yeah, okay. I think, again, we'll just keep that uh, the same. Number of days for loot to respawn if there are no players around. Okay. So, hmm. And this is this will be in-game days, I think. So maybe we'll put this, maybe we'll put this a bit lower, just so we can give ourselves 15, 10 or 15. Um... Hmm, let's do, let's do 15, uh, loot abundance, uh, same, yeah, we'll leave that, airdrops, how often are, in game hours, uh, yeah, let's do an airdrop like that, 24 hours, how, okay, how long in real minutes it takes for 20 hours to pass in game, so, we've got, I guess we could probably have, let's do it like 60 minutes, let's just say, I mean, it's, 
I don't know. Well, it says 50 was a standout here. We'll leave that out. Mark airdrops. Is it? Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. And cheat mode. So that's um, so basically creative mode. So uh, And obviously that turns off your trophy. So we'll leave that. Uh, and restore uh, rule sets. Oh, okay, I think that's just a... Uh, you can uh, basically, instead of going for all the different options, you can have standard things set up. So I think we're going to set up. Um, set up. We're going to start the game then. I'm, I think, as far as I remember... Uh, oh, so we want to enter a name. Uh, I guess if we just put in... I guess this is going to be my name, possibly. <laughs> Let's just put par plays in. Why not? Keep it keep it standard. Do that. There we go. Cool. There we go. Let's put the, take the space out. So, we should just wake up or appear in a uh, random location with practically nothing on us. And it's a bit like Minecraft in a sense. Like I say, it's if anything, you, you could probably... Uh, I don't know what's the best way to describe it. Kind of more of like a an adult Minecraft, where it's got obviously a bit more gore in there, <laughs> a bit more violence, and uh, but it's, it's it's a lot more. Obviously, it's a, an open world survival game, uh, sort of crafting. I think there is some elements of mining as well, but there's a lot of crafting, uh, and it also combines things like kind of tower defense and like uh, horde survival, that kind of thing. So, obviously, it's called Seven Days to Die. Originally, before I uh, looked into this game well when i saw it i thought okay does it only last for seven days you have to just survive for seven days or something like that but basically uh, it goes on for as long as it wants to go on but it means that every seven days there's going to be a uh, sort of like a horde attack uh, so you have to basically of course get yourself prepared uh, you know fortify your base and create your defenses and things like that so it looks like we're building environments. Hopefully, uh, shouldn't take too long. But yeah, so it's interesting. So it can go on. Obviously, like I say, you can go on for a hundred days or two hundred days or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think only if you put it on like the kind of really hard modes that you actually die. You know, it's perm permanent perma death basically. So you do respawn. So can't remember anything for when I played before, so let's just have a look. So, dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you could use some help. It closes a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. Mm, who is Noah? <laughs> okay. Okay, basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the objective tracker, blah, 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 blah. Okay, right, um, okay, so where are we then, <laughs> so, oh, right, okay, so these, oh, right, that's your quick, I, I'm pressing the D-pad the, the D there, um, so it's similar, I think the things are similar to kind of, oh, what was that? I think I just, I just hurt myself on a little cactus, oh dear, <laughs> right, okay, so we need to, so, so let's have a look at our thing over there. So we've got uh, gather plant fibers. I think these are plant fibers. I literally cannot remember. Uh, it was only a couple of weeks ago that I kind of tried it out. I didn't really do much. I just kind of spawned in. Just had to play around with the controls. But I actually can't remember much. So we've got our plant fibers. Uh, gather wood. So same sort of thing is uh, punching down trees, I believe. So here we go. We've got enough wood. So, uh, gather small stones. Uh, can we see any stones around? <laughs> what do what do stones... I mean, I was going to say what do stones look like, but obviously they're going to look like stones. But, okay, if we go to this area over here, this hopefully should give us some uh, some stones. Well, it seems to be in some... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a, a big pit. <laughs> I, was, I was kind of running there, hoping it wasn't going to fall down. And uh, obviously you've got kind of like stamina and you've got hunger on here as well. I believe uh, sort of health. Uh, okay, where are we looking then for these stones? Ooh, what's that? That's a bird's nest. Okay, so we've got some stuff here. Right, we've got... Uh, let's try and work out the... Yeah. So there's buttons for loot all, inspect. I guess if we just loot all, here we go, we just take that with us. I think, yeah, you can find these kind of bird nests around to find things like that. Feathers and um, eggs and stuff like that. Uh, okay, where are the stones? Where are the stones at? What if we go down to the road a bit and see? Oh, okay, here's a rock here. 
Is this what we're looking for? Pick up small stone. There we go. Right. They're actually quite difficult to find. <laughs> well, not difficult, but, you know, they're not obviously loads around. There's loads of these giant pits. I don't really want to go. <laughs> Imagine falling down there. We probably would be. Ooh, what's that down there? What is that? Can we... Oh, we, we just took down. Okay, I wonder if we can get down there then. I think we might be able to get down from here. I'm thinking... Oh, we've got another stone. Let's take that. I kind of want to just go down there just to see um, what we can do. So we need to craft a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we need to craft like a stone axe next. So do these hurt us? No. I don't know what that actually gives us. <laughs> right. I think we just... Let's just head down here. I just really want to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get back out. Oh, there's a, uh, a corpse. That's what... It, oh, no, lovely. His intestines are hanging out. So what has he got on him? He's got some good stuff, actually. Whoa, we've got ourselves a... Uh, a is that a frame? Okay, so it's not a full gun, so we'd have to obviously repair that or craft it. Let's take that stuff anyway with us. Um, do we want to go down there? <laughs> Kind of not sure. Um, I think we can kind of mark things on the map. Um, so let's see if we can get to the map. Uh, what's the map? But th uh, This way, I think. Here we are. Here's the map. It's our character. Literally got nothing on him except for a pair of underpants. <laughs> so, okay. Right, so you can kind of zoom in and the map. So I guess where we are. Where, how can we place a... Here we are, a waypoint. So, I guess if we just... Uh, quick waypoint or save waypoint. Let's do a save one. Oh, what are these things then? I uh, don't know what it is. I don't know what these are supposed to... What these symbols are. Um, can we do that one? Like a cross? Right, there we go. So we've got that there. I'm just thinking, we've got some more here as well. Look at these. I guess we can kind of probably remember it from the map. But let's just leave that there. We could use that, I guess, if we if we need to. Um, I don't know if to kind of go in. We can we can jump, can't we? Yeah. I'm just having to sort of wander in. Whoa, this is interesting. This is a quite a good find early on. This could kind of be maybe a... A cave to <laughs> stay in the night time. Um, you know what? We're we're already going down here now, so let's uh, let's just have a wander around. Let's see what we can find. Anything of interest down here? It's a little bit dark. I wonder if we're actually going to find something like. Oh, we've got another body or something. Um, I think so. We can. Cr how do we craft then? Um, crafting. Here we go. So we can craft an arrow. We can craft. Right. We want to craft a stone axe. So, have we crafted it? Uh, how do we, how do we kind of, oh, there it is, craft. There we go. Ah! So we can move that here. Okay, so we've got more things to do now, but I wonder if we can kind of knock this down. Just to get through. There we go. Right, we've got some more. Can we duck down? We can't duck down. We're going to have to break through these. <laughs> there we go. Right, we've got another corpse here. Let's search this. And, uh, ooh, what's he got? Some painkillers. They could come in handy. Killing the pain. And we've got another guy here. And he's got nothing on him. That's disappointing. Right, so we've got an actual cave entrance here. Ooh, it goes down even further. Um, right, I can't see anything worth going out. So let's just jump back out. Can we just jump? Yeah. Sorted. Right, okay. So now we want to obviously gather some more plant fibers, apparently. So... Just grab a look. I think you just literally just punch these... Punch them all, get as many as you can. It's all about... It's one of those games, because I don't know much about it, it's like not knowing all the kind of, like, 
what you'd need to craft certain things. But obviously this little kind of guide as you go along is going to help out. I'm hoping. We haven't find, seen any zombies yet, have we? So here we go. So we've got more plant fly. Craft, plant, fiber, pants. Ah, okay, so now we're... Uh, right, let's just kind of have a look around, make sure there's nothing. Keep seeing things like these, these kind of like things there. Thinking, is it some sort of zombie? Because <laughs> I know they kind of, of course, appear in the daytime. Uh, so yeah, so let's um, right. Where do we go to craft? So right, okay. So we've got basics. I thought clothing would have possibly been under basics. Clothing. Here we go. Right. So we want to craft everything pretty much. So we want plant fiber gloves. Can we kind of? Is there any way to kind of? What we're we doing? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Is there any way to kind of quick, quick craft it? Maybe. Uh, I think you have to do it like this then. All oh, right, you can actually select it by using the right. It's all about again using these kind of controls, getting your controls right. So shirt, pants. Oh, there's a shirt. Sorry. And we've not got shoes, so we're going to need some more plant fiber. What have we got? Are we waiting for a shirt to do, I think? Um, let's just go and grab some more plant fiber then. Because it sounds like we're going to need some more of that. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Oh, we've got a torch. Ah, okay. So if we go to the inventory, where, how do we get to the inventory? Um, crafting. So what's that there? Is that that's plant fibers, right? Just getting basically just getting starters, like basic survival here. Um, ooh, we've got a car over there. So let's uh, let's just do what was just do this last bit of. Uh, how do we kind of? Where's the plant fiber stuff then? Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, that was a bit strange. So we want shoes. Where are the shoes? There we are. Right, okay. So I guess we're just going to wait for that to finish. And then... Can we... How do we equip them then? Um, so we've got the stuff here. So if we... How do we equip? Uh, quick move, take. Take? Um, maybe, okay, I think this is where you probably do it, actually. Um, would you, oh, do you do it like this, I think? Yes, that's it. So if we, can we do a kind of quick move? Oh, plant, what, what was that? Plant fiber hat. Oh, okay, we did a hood and a hat, so <laughs> okay. Um, so we want the pants, we want the shirt, we want the shoes, and then it was the gloves. Here we go. At least we've got some. I was going to say we could keep out, we could put the hood on, but I think I like I like the hat actually. We are we are we are Clint Eastwood after all. <laughs> so okay, craft wooden club. Okay, so we want some more wood um let's go over to i guess if we use the uh, the stone axe we've got here so hmm let's go to this tree here just chop it down yeah it's a lot more i guess it's a lot more kind of realistic you know it takes a lot more kind of doing i guess you know if you have um better better equipment it's going to go a lot faster but um you know, so we're gather, I'm just gonna gather it all actually, just so we've got some more. Might as well take it all down. Is the tree gonna fall down? Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> okay, have we? Uh, I think we just gather it up ourselves, don't we? Um, how do we get to the kind of inventory quickly? Uh, I think it's this one, yeah. 
So, okay. Can we, I wonder if, oh right, we've put that in there. So how much wood do we have? What if, I'm trying to work out, they're rounds. Where is all the wood then? That we just collected. Oh, it's there. There it is. Right. Okay. So we want to we want to craft a club. So, um, weapon tools possibly. Wood logs, spikes. Okay. Wooden club. Here we go. Ammo and weapons. So we can get a bow as well. Actually, that could be pretty cool. Um, so there we go. So we're crafting that. Cool. So we've got a. What if we let's just craft ourselves a bow because we've got some arrows, haven't we? Uh, how many how many arrows have we got? Did we did, we have got some arrows? I'm sure. Or can we just craft the arrows? Uh yeah. I don't think yeah we can craft them. So let me just uh, move that. Let's just kind of uh, do this a little bit. Okay. So where was the club we just created? Um, there it is. Wooden club. So what's the what would the wooden club be for then? Um, I wonder if we kind of hover over it and inspect. Here we go. So wooden club, good for breaking knees and skulls. Ah, okay, so it's an actual weapon. Obviously, the axe will be good for uh, cutting wood, mining stone. Okay, repairing and um, things like that. Okay, right. So gather small stone. We need some more stones and things like that. So, hmm. Okay, is that where we just came from before? Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think that's where we went down. And we ended up coming kind of round again. Don't know where it's... It must have taken us out over there. Where was that car, actually? Oh, here it is. Can we actually find anything in, in the car? Any supplies? So we can... Oh, we've got some cinder blocks there. Uh, anything in the car? Nothing but blood. <laughs> Lovely. Right, we're not seeing any zombies yet, which is good because obviously we don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to die straight away. So, can we find some more stuff? Ooh, what's this on the floor here? I thought it might have been a map or something. Can we not take that? These cinder blocks. That'd be good if you could actually take them. Maybe you can break them up or something. Let's just try the axe on them. See if it does anything. Oh, it does. So what are they going to turn into? Oh, they actually do turn into stones. Okay. That's good. That's that's quite handy, actually, if you find those. So you have to remember that. It's a lot of, a lot of remembering with this sort of game. It's, you know, survival. Kind of throws you straight into it. Doesn't give you any kind of uh, any help other than a couple of kind of hints and things to get you started. Let's gather some more stone. Uh, so we can craft a wooden bow and craft arrows. So, again, let's go here. So, how do we kind of move around? I can't seem to kind of move up and down, like, <laughs> page left. Oh, here we go. You do, ah, that's it. There we go. I've, I've worked it out now. So, we want a, a wooden bow. Um, and we want a cr uh, wooden, no, arrows. Craft one arrow, is that it? How many can we craft? Maybe if we craft... Oh, right, he wants us to craft two. So we've got two arrows. Um, okay. So, craft wooden frame. Place wooden frame. Okay, so I'm guessing these are things that you're going to be doing when you're building your house. We're going to leave that for now. Um, oh, what's that? Is that a rabbit? What was that? Is it a rabbit? Can we, can we like, kill the rabbit? Go here. <laughs> Get some food. Come here. We could use our bow technically. Uh, what was that? Oh, we got some more uh, things, um, nests and things like that. Uh, feathers. Let's just take these. These are going to come in handy. Might as well stock up, stock up on them while we're here. Oh, we got a zombie. Okay, we got our first zombie. So uh, I think we should. Uh, I wonder if we can get. Oh no, I'm being hunted. I'm, I'm being hunted. Uh, right. <laughs> they seem to be a bit green. I know obviously zombies are a bit rotten, but it's very, very green, as in flesh. Ugh! Can't get that. Oh no, you know what, I'll just thought, use a club. 
So once, yeah, there you go. Have the club. <laughs> join my club. Come and join my club. <laughs> oh no! Gee, whoa, I'm getting uh, hurt a lot here. Whoa! You gotta. Uh, I guess you gotta just kind of move around. These are really, really tough. <laughs> these, uh, these don't go down easily. I guess as we upgrade the weapons and stuff. Then we should uh, should be able to take that, but uh, yeah, definitely don't want to be facing like multiple zombies. Um, I just kind of want to take down this zombie just to see. <laughs> it's taking a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Oh, is he dead? Search rotting carcass. Nice. Uh, right, what have we got? He's got some wood and a brass candlestick. That is interesting. <laughs> Lovely. Just turned into a. <laughs> Oh dear, it's not too gory. It's a bit, it's a bit more, um, a bit more cartoony, if anything. <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, this is interesting. So, I think this is gonna, this has been a good start to uh, to our uh, journey to survive the zombie apocalypse. Uh, ooh, what's this? We've got some trash. <laughs> Let's have a search in the trash. Nothing in the trash. It's not very good, is it? Um, so we need to, of course. I think we're going to be starting to. Uh, make ourselves a base. I think it's probably just, uh, you know, it's making a wooden frame. I'm guessing that must be some sort of foundation for a base. Um, we've got another zombie coming after. Am I being hunted yet? These are slow though, so that's cool. So, this has been part one of our Seven Days to Die series. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a, a cool starting off. We've actually found some good things. Found ourselves a nice cave with some corpses in, got ourselves some loot. Um, but yes, I shall be continuing this. And if you didn't know, um, this game, Seven Days to Die, is actually by Telltale Games, which uh, I've done popular games, of course, like Minecraft Story Mode and The Walking Dead uh, series and um, all that sort of business, Game of Thrones, uh, Wolf Among Us. And uh, but yeah, because normally the the you know the most famous for their point and click adventures like that. But it's good to see them actually do a a game like this, like an open world. And this is a, a nurse <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> So, oh no, oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, why am I stuck? Oh no! <laughs> Woo, I thought I didn't want to die then. So we've, we've still got a decent amount of health, but we don't want to, we don't want to get too, we don't want to get uh, too ambitious where we end up dying. So guys, I'm going to finish off taking out, taking out this nurse, and uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, video, and want to see more of it, of course, make sure to hit that like button, and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. But for me, I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and I will see you all later.